I'm Tom Jordan with ACP Thin Manager. Uh, today we're going to talk about the Relevance uh, mobility solution that will turn an iPad or an Android device into a true mobile thin client. One of the things that separates Relevance from all the other mobile technology solutions for the industrial market is our ability to resolve the location of the mobile device and therefore the location of the user. We accomplish this by using resolver, location resolvers such as the QR code, an NFC tag, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, or GPS. Out of those five resolvers, there are two different kinds of resolvers. One is active resolvers, which would be the QR code and the NFC resolver tags, which you have to be in near uh, proximity to in order to interact with them. Uh, the other kinds of resolvers are considered passive resolvers, and that would be the Wi-Fi, the GPS, and the Bluetooth, and you simply need to be within range of one of those signals in order for those resolvers to work. By using resolver technology like these, we are able to create what we call resolver actions. And today we're going to show you a few of those different actions and how they work. So today we're going to talk about Thin Manager Relevance and resolver action of force transfer. In order to do force transfer, all I have to do is launch ITMC on my iPad, and I'm going to log in as the maintenance person. And after I enter my username and password, I'm automatically authenticated to the wireless environment that I'm in already. And as the maintenance person, I'm authorized to receive my maintenance work order application by default within that Wi-Fi environment. But in this case, my maintenance person needs to interact with that HMI that's uh, attached to the tethered thin client terminal in my work environment here. But instead of having to be at this terminal to interact with the HMI, we're going to use force transfer to allow my maintenance person to basically take the HMI and use it on the device. So now that I'm logged in, all I have to do is hit the scan ID button, go over to my QR code, and when I scan it, you'll see that immediately the application is taken away from the tethered terminal and given to the uh, iPad. At this point, I can move within my environment and interact with the application and do what I need to do as the maintenance person. Once I'm through, I simply hit the leave button, I return my HMI to my tethered terminal so my operator can continue their work. That's force transfer. Now we're going to show you uh, cloning in the Thin Manager Relevance mobility environment. Uh, a, an instance where I might want to clone a session uh, with my mobile solution is in the case of uh, having a conveyor system uh, in my uh, lemonade factory where I am running uh, the packaging uh, for uh, the bottles. And in this particular case, uh, the HMI is only used to really start and stop the conveyor process. Therefore, we did not want to go through the expense of adding a tethered terminal, uh, running a wire, dropping electricity, uh, perhaps having some sort of enclosure. Uh, that would have been a great expense. With Thin Manager Relevance, I can use my iPad. I can launch ITMC. And I'm going to log in as my operator. By default, my operator receives no application uh, when he logs in and authenticates the environment, but when he goes over to the conveyor system and he scans the ID for the conveyor, he is given an application that doesn't exist there because there's no tethered terminal at that conveyor, but he is able to operate the conveyor system through an iPad uh, or a, uh, another mobile device that uh, supports thin manager relevance, and when he is through, uh, he can simply return the application back into the environment uh, in the terminal server environment. In this case, what we've done is clone the application. In other words, we've spun up another session within our uh, terminal server environment. Uh, so there could be a licensing uh, thing there because you have actually used uh, another version of the software. Um, but this keeps you from the expense of uh, the tethered terminal that would have to be put in place otherwise. So when the operator is through, uh, they simply uh, leave the application goes away and they can move throughout the environment to do other things with the mobile device or the mobile device could be just left near the conveyor system as an inexpensive way to have an HMI in an area where you don't want to drop a tethered terminal. That's cloning. So now we're going to talk about uh, shadowing with the Thin Manager Relevance mobile solution. Uh, a situation where you might want to shadow uh, would be you have a tethered terminal 
and an operator is uh, using the uh, application on that terminal and uh, needs help from the supervisor who may be in another part of the plant, uh, they could uh, call up the supervisor on the walkie-talkie. Supervisor will be able to shadow the session from his mobile device uh, and see what's happening there. Uh, another case may be if you're training a new employee or training a current employee on a new application, uh, a supervisor could use the shadow feature to stand beside the employee and shadow that session and uh, have uh, mirrored training screens uh, going while they're uh, telling them how to do their job. So all I have to do here, again like before, open my iPad, I launch ITMC, and at this point I simply select that I want to log into a uh, location and at this point it is the cleaning zone and I'm going to tell ITMC that I want to shadow the cleaning zone and you'll see that immediately the shadow appears on my mobile device it is an interactive shadow with that application so if I select some of the functionality for the application you can see that it mirrors the screen from the operator terminal and I can interact with it by hitting some of the test buttons uh, and going back to my original screen and just like the other uh, functions and relevance when I'm through, if I just hit the leave button, the application leaves my mobile device and everything is returned back to the full functionality from my operator's workstation. And that's shadowing. On to